Okay, welcome back. So I think we're going to get this war started. Um, this episode at some point. Um, because I still have to uh, get a few things done beforehand. So this province, I think we're going to give to Melindy. Province, uh, dude, it's Tanga. And I think we're going to try and start annexing one of these guys. I don't think we want to do a Mernia just yet. Okay, where'd that pop up? Um. Oh, that's annoying. And we don't have military access through these guys. Well. We could probably just kill them once the war starts. Let's come back from Benin as well. Okay, so we want to start doing Moravia, I think. We're going to need to send a gift. You as well. Version successful. Oh, great. Okay. Um, our autonomous rebel suppressors are doing their job. Good for them. Start annexing Moravia. So this is 360. Wow. This is 140. Okay. So, 360, uh, 2, or 144, um, so, 116, right? No, uh, sorry, never do math while you're recording, it's just generally a bad idea. Um, so at 2.16 is when we should, is roughly when we should start doing, uh, Tumbuku. So we're actually probably losing. No, we're, we're only gaining one at the moment because of that. Believe there is an ode the diplomatic annexation cost. Okay, we got some rebels down here. Let's go and help them. Man, apparently, uh, rebels are really big right now. And what are these people doing? Okay, looks like our vassal can actually handle that one. So we're going to send our guys that way instead. Okay, any any more rebels that would like to pop up for no explained reason? They're going to have some issues with Kilowin rebels. So that being said, I should probably get some of these guys back onto the mainland. I know we're going to have some guys down here. In fact, it uh, looks, like, looks like our guys can actually handle themselves. Oh, nice. They're, they're doing their own rebel busting. So 
So, I should probably wait until these troops are, like, in their own territory and can do this themselves. So I am kind of a fan of trying to pounce on this fort. Okay, doesn't doesn't appear as if they're turning it on, which is good. It's good to see that they're trusting. It'll be their downfall. So, Canaan Borum. Don't really have any more room for troops. suppress rebels in this area because we're going to need to. Let's get these uh this troop up here. Twenty three. Okay, we should have enough supply limit for all of those guys in case I forget. just a little under a month to get into Kong. So if we hold off... We should be able to just walk in there before they can get any more um, ticks on their, uh, their fort. Go ahead, reduce inflation. Can, we still can only rival Castile. We probably should, um, while we aren't at war, go ahead and issue embargoes. I don't want to wait any longer on this war, so I'm going to hold off on issuing an embargo on England. So... Any of these that we can easily just run up onto? This is a level 2 fort, so take a little longer, but we can hold it long uh, hold it better. Okay, I've got a little over 40 troops over here. I think we'll be perfectly fine, even if they raise armies. So, yeah. Let's just go ahead and get started. Any of these guys have any cannons? They don't, so we should just keep them So, yeah, he just turned his fort back on. I think they usually do when they're declared. I think it's automatic, like, when you get declared on to have your fort just pop back on. Very first, okay, that should be enough time. So we're essentially only fighting a level one fort right now, which is why I wanted to do that. This was already turned on, so it's been Um, we have Zanzibar already. We do. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do that because I don't want our vassal to dislike us. 
probably should have turned on scootage for Timbuka, just so we didn't have to worry about it. Let's go ahead and head over to this gold mine. France has announced us as their rival. Okay. You are still at 13. Uh, Benin is actually at 12. I'm surprised. Burundian. It was this one, right? No. This province? What province was this? Nakoma. I really don't want to deal with this, so I'm just going to raise autonomy. We're still not in the age where autonomy, raising autonomy is um, bad. So I'm perfectly fine with doing it. Our trader has died. That's probably a bit of extra money now. Um, we should probably take the level 3 Diplo rep now that we uh, can, now that we have the money to do so. Okay, still got some kill in Separatist. Um, how much does this loan cost? We can't pay that back. So, I should probably tell these this guy in particular to st uh, stay like defensive or assist supportive, because I don't really want him going around and getting himself killed. Really. Oh, wait a minute. Only said he wouldn't join. What the heck? Did he change his mind or something? Well, that's... It's annoying, but it's also... Yeah, it's actually kind of annoying. Wait, you have a truce? You declined this call, so you got a truce. Why are you... In this war. Something's fishy here. I don't trust this. Alright, let's focus on getting Kong out. Zanzibar. Um, we should definitely group these guys up. So we have the general. Castilian West Indies. So, obviously, I want to get Kong knocked out first. I actually do have... This, our uh, vassal here has claims on Kong. So, I guess since Molly is technically in this war, I will... Um, Focus on them first. Ew. I mean, we're not really too worried about our ships. Molly is in two wars at the moment. I imagine our vassal does not actually have any claims. Or anything on him. I'm going to give this to Wagaduga. Wagadugu. So I think our only real thing with Molly is we want money.
How can we not pay this money? Or pay this, uh... Pay this loan back. Okay, we did manage to get onto the siege. I have a feeling... Well, it... it... No, 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 it's a bad idea. We, we don't need to be doing that right now. Okay. You should be willing to just peace us out. Or peace out now. So let's just do that. Get you knocked out. I kind of figured was going to happen they were going to get black flagged it's fine though we can get unblack flagged pretty easily <laughs> who's this guys the one up here we're at war it's tempting just the the mess with Aragon obviously I don't think uh, that would really stop them especially since we're still two texts two military texts behind me okay hold on you could get unblack flagged in your subject's occupied lands. Again, I don't think we're really in any rush. just uh, shift or pivot so that we um, can better move forward and expand our control. Explore. Arabian Sea whenever you are ready. Let's take tax, because I like taxes. Money is good. We are kind of starting to hurt on manpower, though. should probably consider building some more of these uh, military buildings. Ugh. Stupid disease outbreaks. Could just blow a hole through this fort and move forward, but I, I don't know. This one needs to go to you. Does Benin have any claims on any of these? No, but it looks like our vassal does. Or no, this guy, that guy has claim. Could just take these two for ourselves. Pretty good trade goods, so. Um, I don't particularly like that you're standing on the same province that I am. Yeah, these are the the expensive ones. These are probably the ones that we've been deving a lot. New seat in Parliament. We could go and kill Cain and Boro. Do you, I do want to find a province that has um, Timbuktu cores on it. If it still has any cores.
It's the only downside with fighting Songhai is the fact that I can't see anything. Okay, there's that province. Um... Just gonna take that one. I imagine most of her vassals can see better than we can, or at least all the vassals over here. So I'm kind of trusting them to respond if needed. Clearly, um, Songhai is scared of us. Almost definitely scared of us. The only benefit they have is the fact that I can't see where their armies are. So, if they take advantage of that, it's going to be bad. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I guess let's do that one. I don't think that's really all that beneficial. There used to be a bug where... Um, if you took that, it would affect inland provinces as well, not just um, not just uh, coastal provinces, which was kind of funny. Okay, they're dealing with some rebels down here. Let's get these troops up near there. That way they can handle that. Unfortunately, I can't easily move out of the way. I think I'm going to go that way just so I can see. versions. We're actually almost out of things to convert. I wonder if uh, Timbuktu's cores are all gone. Honestly, could probably get full annex now. No? Okay. Guess we'll just continue the war. I'm surprised this guy hasn't came over and done anything yet. Yes, let's definitely take that. Okay, I'm assuming this is... yeah. Probably wasn't the greatest idea to do that during war, but eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. He hasn't attacked me yet, so I have a feeling he's not going to. West Africa is going to take a while to, uh finish off. It's... That and Ethiopia are going to be the two biggest areas of the game. This is going to be the toughest area because of the larger presence of Europeans and Ottomans. But it's going to just take so long because there's so many different nations down here. Um, I don't actually don't 
stick to me. I would prefer if you stayed a little farther away. I still don't know where the rest of their army is. They're, they're clearly afraid of me, so they've been hiding in the fog of war. Or in the terra incognita. Let's go ahead. Hate. I hate when you go up to 71%. Like, anything above 50 is just excessive. And the sack of Gao. Or, yeah, Gao. Guess we'll take the money. Um. I'll move this way. Yeah, I kind of figured we would take a loan, which is fine. As long as we're making money. Okay. Let's send our 16 stack this way, just to, just in case. Uh, no, not protect trade. Um, explore. Eastern Indian Ocean. Okay, there's their army. Let's send some troops this way so we can handle them. As soon as that flips, and it did, we'll send our 13 stack along. First, third. We have two, they have two, so we're going to take the river penalty. But it's Savannah, so... I think it'll be fine. We have massive uh, discipline and tactics bonuses, so I think this is going to be a pretty easy uh, victory here. I, I guess there must be another fort here, because normally you'd be able to go into Terra Incognita as long as you have... Where are you going? Dendi. Oh, here. It's like, where is that province that they're going to? Okay. Take your money. So, keeping this guy loyal is going to be fun. Um, he's not too bad. I'm surprised that he still doesn't like us, though. Keep improving relations. Yeah, the forced vassalization doesn't help. But I think you'll like us once we uh, give you back all of your provinces. Okay, you... Um, what do we want to do with you? There's obviously still some armies marching around. I don't think we have to worry about any of them getting, like, down here.
like to keep them over here just to make sure that there's no funny business from either Canemboro or... Oh! So there must be a... a fort up here. Maybe it's this province? Okay, I think our guys should be free to just be on siege focus. Maybe they'll go and take care of Canemboro for us. That would be kind of handy. Looks like Moravia is almost done, and it looks like um, they're about at the point that we would want to start doing the next guy. Okay. Timbuktu does have some provinces still. The only problem is the fact that they're kind of out of the way. Songhai is definitely not going to be a um, single war. It's definitely going to be like two or three wars. Looks like we got some rebels we need to go and deal with. Trade efficiency. I don't think we care about them. This is probably the Kong um, guys that ran away. And hunting accident. I'm just waiting for it to happen. Honestly, if you were just willing to peace out, I'd completely understand. Unfortunately, they are not. They want to stay in this lost fight. Okay, there's that army. Let's send these guys down here to deal with this uh, two, uh, 0 2 one stack. Good composition. Good choice. Good choice. Depletion of the European beaver. So I think that increases, like, um, fur prices or something. Tunis is getting wrecked by Aragon. This is a very scary Aragon. Ravon somehow got Corsica. And unfortunately, I think we need to put a cut in here. So I guess we'll uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next part um, where we'll finish up this war. Um, if we have time, we'll try and get this guy integrated. Um, this province is unfortunately taking a little longer now that we don't have our colonist and the benefits that come with that. We're almost done converting everything, although we're gonna have more to convert once these guys start integrating. Um, yeah. We really need to get more Diplo relations. I am glad that we got up to seven just so we could knock this out but yeah it's uh hitting us pretty hard on diplo having to integrate moravia is definitely not helping but all right uh thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time